Hello, Pisces, and welcome to your Where Is My Soulmate Valentine's Day love reading. So, I said that 12 times tonight. It did not get any older throughout the night. I'm sorry, I was getting, I am getting really tired, but I am finishing these tonight. So, we are late getting these up. I wanted them all. I had them all planned to, like, roll out the first of the month. They did not. I just worked 20 days straight at a flower factory making all of the Valentine's Day bouquets. So, we are still giving away the tie-dye um, heart tapestry, tea towel, whatever you want to call it. So, um, if you want to hit the like and subscribe button, drop a comment below, um, either heart, tie-dye, towel, anything. Um... I'll give it a few days or a week. I'll drop all the names in a basket. I'll do a go live and I will pull the name. Um, I'll probably pull three. Um, then I will, it's okay if you miss the live. I will come back and find the person who wins. I will get, and then I'll give them about a week or so to respond. And then um, if I don't hear anything, like I'll give them my, e I'll give you my email. Um, Cause I don't know if it's up in the about yet. And um go from there so that way we can I, I really want to give one away so I'm like uh what if someone comments and I'm an overthinker and then doesn't see my comment like I don't want to wait forever um but I would like to give one away because I thought it would be fun and I said I would so I may be late but I try to never no show that's my rule at work, too. It'll be late, but I'll never no-show. Okay. Pisces, we're going to do you and your person. Could be someone you already know. Um, I did set the intentions that you were single, but the cards have had a mind of their own tonight, so I have to read what they tell me. Um... Could be someone you know, you could be talking to them, you could be talking to them casually, you could meet them at the grocery store in a week. Uh, that was more than one, but I like to say what it was, and it was the Page of Cups. Okay. Pisces, you were at Five of Pentacles. nine okay i know i was confused because i was like why does the eight look like that okay not i told you it was getting late nine of nine of pentacles and the knight of wands If you hear the squeaking, it's my rabbit. And it's just one rabbit, so I assure you that's nothing weird. My I, my rabbit and one of and one of her offspring has like um must have like an internal I've been calling it an internal cleft palate because I don't know what else to call it. There has to be some sort of respiratory defect going on in there. Um like because I've never had a rabbit make noise like that before. And the other one would like almost oink. Like it was so strange. Okay. Your person is at the six of pentacles. King of pentacles. And two of swords. You guys have a lot of pentacles. But they're... You know, I know cups is love and emotion, but I read the pentacles as abundance to me. And so abundance is fulfillment, love. It's like all of the above. It's like growth. But you've got five of pentacles at the start.
getting really loud. She's literally just like. So weird. It's like she's snoring. Okay, confusion on your Five of Pentacles. Enlightenment on your Nine of Pentacles. And joy on your Knight of Wands. So I feel like for you, Pisces, rules can always be reversed, but you've got five of pentacles, you know, they're outside the church, they're a little weary and broken, but you've got confusion. So I feel like there was some past confusion on, you know, relationships that weren't abundant because then you have enlightenment on the... Um, nine of pentacles and everything about her is you know abundant and then you have joy at the knight of wands so to me I feel like you're ready to move forward obviously or you want to be on the love reading which is I've said every time like obviously there was an ending somewhere and obviously you're ready for a new beginning or we wouldn't be on a love reading so it's kind of I say it every time. So prayer is my self-reflection card um, generally. So I'm still kind of feeling it on this read, although the last read, it, it felt different. So, but generally prayer in this deck is my, my like self-reflection card. Um, so your person... Has prayer on the Six of Pentacles. So. There is a faith card in this deck. So I was going to say like prayer can be faith. Prayer can be. I don't feel like they were praying for money. And here's the thing. And I never pray for money. I will always pray for the right path. I, I never pray for money, but to me, I'm taking this as like, I mean, this is the balance and this is having enough to share with others. So, you know, and pentacles are abundance. It's not always money. It's, it's also love. It's growth. It's, but then they're like the king of pentacles and then they have acceptance on that. She accepts her name is cherry and she makes cherry pies. But then they also have the two of swords, which is like an impasse and no clear way out. And then they have discovery. So I feel like obviously they felt somewhere that wasn't, they were somewhere that wasn't balanced and abundant, which is obvious, you know. So I do feel like it's very similar and I've, I've had maybe only two of these reads tonight where it felt like you and your person were kind of going through the same thing or had been through the same thing. So because you do, what's interesting to me is like, this is you and this is them. And, and these are like right above and below each other here. So like you're both sitting in these high vibing pentacles and you have enlightenment and acceptance. So I 
I feel like maybe you were both, maybe both of your last relationships where you realized weren't. They weren't fruitful. So it doesn't mean they have to be toxic or anything like that. It just means that I feel like you both feel like there's more to give and there's more to be had. So... Like, they are discovery on the, you know, they can see that this was, I mean, I know this one's like the choice card, like this is not a clear decision and clear out, but they have discovery kind of on the fact to me that they wanted out of there, you know, so enjoy on the Knight of Wands. You know, and he's new ideas. And I feel like your new idea is you're just, I feel like you both. Are just realizing that you weren't fulfilled and there's, you know, more to life or that you wanted to share, that you wanted to share it with someone, you know. Some people spend, you know, all this time focused on just career, career, career. And then they're like, because some people also won't really date until they feel like they need A, B, C, and D first. Right? And then they're alone forever. And then all of a sudden they're like, I just want someone to share it with. So, okay. Protection. Love. Love. And truth. Okay. Well, I think that kind of makes a lot of sense, actually. Because you're both original past cards were kind of like... You know, this one was balanced, but this one was, was not. But you have prayer and confusion, so... I feel like when you guys come together, you'll want to, you'll want to protect each other, but I guess this protection, you know, for the other person could be like them protecting their assets, their balance, you know, but then you have love. We have love on acceptance, enlightenment, and then the truth on discovery and joy so yeah I feel like you both are are ready to give your cup of love to someone and um you know in a way that is you standing in your truth both of both of you so yeah I don't think that's bad at all Pisces, uh, there was, uh, I don't remember what reading it was. There was one reading I picked up on, you know, someone having like health or rehab issues or mental health. There was one I picked up on people leaving their like bachelor, bachelor, bachelorette party party boy party girl lifestyle behind I I only had a couple that really felt like anyone was super still dealing with you know their last breakup so I I don't feel like this was you know I don't feel like this was heavy so you know obviously there was imbalance and unfulfillment in the past but it just seems like everyone's kind of already dealt with that um and ready to move forward so i'm ready for bed so that's it pisces we will see you in the next one i'm sorry i think i will um flip up the schedule a little bit because i feel bad when i was like if i do film consecutively then I taper off on you guys at the end. So I may switch it up a bit. Um, 
that way Pisces not always waiting till the end. So, okay. So keep it balanced for you. I don't, I don't want you feeling like this. Okay. I want you feeling like this. Okay. I feel like this in my dress tonight too. I got cold and put my sweater on, but I rocked the Valentine's Day or whatever red dress I had. So, um, that's it. Thank you, Pisces. We will see you in the next one. Let me know if anything resonates. Um, and we've got some lives rolling out. I'm able to do some lives now. I'm sure they're still very glitchy. The more subscribers we get and interaction we get, the quicker we won't be as glitchy. So um, I will keep plugging away for you guys. I really enjoy this. So um, thank you for stopping by. Thank you if you're a repeat offender to my page. <laughs> and if you're the Pisces I know, don't stop by my house. I will shoot you through my door. Thanks.